after years upon years of failure, I finally figured it out. The perfect Christmas cake donut formula that is healthy. They think they're eating donuts, but they don't know they're eating healthy. It's perfect! Ha 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 ha! In this week's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make healthy Christmas tree cake donuts, and you don't even have to sacrifice the taste. That's right, they taste good and they're healthy, and I'm gonna show you how to make them. So let's get into this week's video. All right guys, we're in the kitchen getting ready to cook up these Christmas tree cake donuts. But first things first, I'm the realist. No, seriously though. We're gonna cook these. This is my first time cooking these, so it could go okay or it could not go okay. But I'm gonna tell you everything you guys need real quick. You're going to need some unsweetened applesauce. You're gonna need some bacon powder. You're gonna need evaporated milk. You're gonna need stevia, zero calorie sweetener. You're gonna need coconut flour and you're gonna need vanilla protein powder. I wanted to put a twist on mine, I'm a chocolate person, and I had this protein powder already, so we've got the BPN whey protein, which is the fudge chocolate flavored, so we're going to throw that in there instead of vanilla. That's everything you're going to need. So we're going to mix all these ingredients up in this bowl and get, put them into this pan so we can get cooking. We're also going to be making the glaze for these donuts, and we've got some sprinkles. How much you need of everything and the whole recipe will be in the description down below. But now we're going to get right into mixing these up and making these Christmas tree cake donuts. might not be making as many donuts as we thought because the ingredients are smaller and we didn't want to have to up it because we just want to see how they go first. So we might just make less. We're going to switch the bowl out in a small bowl and finish getting mixing these and get them cooking. Smaller bowl, better bowl. Now we're going to get the egg whites. Alright guys, now, now we are going to make up the glaze for the top of the donuts. You're going to need 60 milliliters or 1 4 cup of fat free evaporated milk. You're going to need 1 scoop or 30 grams of protein powder. And you're going to need 1 tablespoon of stevia. So we're going to get all that, put it in here and mix it up. And it's going to go on the donuts after they come out of the oven. And don't forget the sprinkles as well. Okay, so now we got the donuts out, we're going to let them cool for a second, put them on parchment paper, put the icing on, put the sprinkles on, and give it a taste test, and then we'll talk about all the macros and everything, so you guys know just how low calorie these donuts are and how good they taste. I definitely recommend you guys make them. They taste a little bit like a Christmas tree cake donuts, but they have a twist on them because I put that chocolate in there. I really like them. I'm definitely going to make them again. We're going to go right over and talk about all the macros right now. Since we're done cooking those donuts, we're going to talk about the macros on these. You guys are going to be completely surprised because I was, and I don't feel guilty for eating these things. So I'm definitely going to make these things, and I might make a cake out of this in the future. If I do, I will do a video on it to show you guys how to do it. One donut is one serving. Total calories is 93 calories. You get 6 grams of carbs and you get 15 grams of protein. 93 calories, 15 grams of protein for one donut. That's crazy. A regular donut is three to 400 calories and I don't know exactly the protein on it, but it's nowhere near that. So you guys need to try this recipe out. It's one of my most favorite things I've made so far, so go try it out. Head on over to my Instagram and check out the awesome pictures I took of these as well if you want to see them up close and personal. That's the recipe. I hope you guys try it out. If you do, drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of it. As always, the recipe is in the description, so you can go over there and get everything you need. Now we're going to get into the rest of this week's video. Sitting here with this beautiful thing, doing some work by the Christmas tree, and watching wrestling. What are you doing? I'm sending out postcards and regular cards, I guess. Yeah. Who are you sending the cards out to? Well, the postcards I'm sending out to uh, random people around the United States that are postal carriers. Just like her, because she carries the mail as well, and so does my mom. So they're all doing this thing this year where they send out 
postcards to everybody, and she's got quite a few. Show them your stack you got. Well, this is all that I've gotten in the past three days. Yeah, that's just three days worth. Put it sideways. Yeah, there you go. So you can and, see all of them. Well, I'm going to say there's at least 13 cards here. Dang. And she's gotten a lot more, too, and since the other day. Let's see if she gets them out here. These are some... Well, this one is from somebody on the mail route, but she's really sweet. And this is for my niece and my, my niece and my nephew. But these, I've gotten two. And I think, honestly, I have another stack, too, somewhere. Yeah, I think so. You have, like, three stacks. Because I know when we get the mail every day, you have quite a few cards. You at least have three to four coming in a day. Yeah, so that's not even all of them. But just, just from what I've got so far, like... That's awesome. But these are ones that I've already, I have postcards that I'm about to mail for these. I will definitely tell you what I'm not looking forward to. On Christmas morning, it's supposed to be like 18 degrees. It's going to be cold for a run, definitely. So uh, if I think about it, I'll bring you guys along with me for that. But that'll be in the next video as this video is going up on Christmas. Definitely going to be cold. You ready for Christmas, Rissa? I guess. You guess? What about you, Mom? Sure. I'm ready for Christmas. So it is beginning to look a lot like Christmas and we are going to wrap presents. Marissa's already over there sitting on the floor. She's wrapping presents for our two nieces. And uh, we got some presents for the rest of the family. So we're going to get to wrapping those. It's getting down to the wire too because it is the day before Christmas Eve. So we have today, tomorrow, and then it's Christmas. So we're going to get right into wrapping presents. Marissa's down here wrapping Christmas presents. What all you got? Show us the presents. Elsa. Cool. That's for Ella. Ella is our niece. And then I got her some wooden little puzzle pieces. I'm not good at Christmas shopping, so I'm not even going to lie. I let Marissa do most of it. And she just says it's from both of us. Because I think everything she got is awesome. I'm just not the best Christmas shopper. Like, I'm not good at picking presents. Or I don't feel like I'm good at picking presents. A hippo. No, elephant. <laughs> elephant and a hippo. A hippo, hippo elephant. elephant. Same thing. Potatoes, potatoes. Uh, yeah. Poppity pop hippo. Well, that's cool. So I guess when it, like... The little beads in it are going to pop. When they roll it around. That's kind of like those uh, lawnmowers we used to have as kids. Yeah, and then I got her Mickey Mouse ABC123. So we got quite a bit of cool stuff for our two nieces. And it's stuff they can use to learn and have fun with. So they'll learn as they're growing up. Hey, let's smile. Alright guys, since it's Christmas Eve Eve, and when you're watching this, it's technically Christmas. Because that's when it's going up. And we're in the Christmas spirit. I want to know what you're thankful for this holiday. What I'm thankful for, I don't want no presents or anything like that. I'm just thankful that I get to spend time with my family and have family to spend with. And everybody's doing good and having a good time. That's all that matters to me. And I'm very thankful for that. So what are you thankful for for Christmas? I'm going to go around the house and ask Marissa, Mom, Dad, what they're thankful for for Christmas. And I want to know what you're thankful for and what you like most about Christmas. So drop a comment in the comment section below to let me know. Marissa, what are you thankful for for Christmas? And before you start, I want to say I am very thankful for you. What am I thankful for this Christmas? I'm thankful for family. I'm thankful for friends. I'm thankful for having a job. And I'm thankful for having good health. Although I had a health scare a couple days ago, I'm very thankful to still be here. And still thankful to have such amazing people in my life. Good answer. And I'm thankful you're still here too. I mean the world to me. Now we're on to mom. Mom, what are you thankful for for Christmas? Well, I'm thankful for my family and friends and also all my wonderful people on my mail route. Well, that is awesome. She has a lot of awesome people on her mail route. Yes, I do. Okay, now we're on to dad. Dad, what are you thankful for for Christmas? I'm thankful for my family and my friends. I'm wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. That is awesome, and I'm thankful for that as well. And yes, hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. So we're going to go on a ride, maybe look at some Christmas lights, and just have fun as a family. And if we do see some cool Christmas lights, I'll drop some more in here, because you guys got to see a couple that we liked that one night in a previous video, but we didn't get to show all the ones we like. So if we see any others that we really like, I'll drop them in here as well, because as this is, it's a Christmas vlog. It's leading up to Christmas. You guys got to see the awesome donuts we made. So now you're going to get to see some Christmas lights. You guys enjoy seeing my day-to-day -day life and stuff. I like to bring you guys along with me as well. So it's definitely awesome. I'm glad to welcome you into my home around Christmas time.
All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video with the awesome Christmas tree cake donuts. And I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me and my family as we get ready for Christmas. Like I said, what are you thankful for? Drop a comment in the comment section below. I'm going to wrap it up there. If you guys did enjoy this week's video, please give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos each and every week. You guys are awesome. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like. Comment in the comment section below. Even though we didn't get to do a workout in this week's video or take you guys on a run, we'll have that coming up soon again. But remember to train insane, have a Merry Christmas, and we will see you guys next time.